Let's start this bulletin with our top focus this hour. It is day two of Team India's visit to the violence hit state of Manipur. The delegation of 21 MPs has sought time from Governor Anusia Uike for a meeting at 10 a.m. today. On day one, the opposition leaders visited relief camps in Churachanpur, which is the epicenter of violence, besides also visiting relief camps in Imphal and Moirang. Now, the MPs interacted with victims of violence and assured them that peace will be restored in the state, which has been on the edge for nearly 90 days now. Now, the leaders hit out at the government for not doing enough for Manipur, asking why they didn't agree to send an all-party delegation to the state earlier. No effective action is taken by the government, mm. by the central government. Why not take, it, take this issue up in the parliament earlier? But why bring it up only after the viral but video? After the viral video uh, are on the 4th of May, on the 5th of May, all most of the victims are still stuck in Churjanpur. Most of the villages are stuck there. There are red victims. Churjanpur, many women were being raped. But yeah. why don't you stand out? Because we are scared for our future. Yeah. We are care because we are women. We want to save our future. That's why we don't stand out. It has been a very difficult day because we went to four relief camps, two in Churachanpur, one in Imphal, one in Moirang. And everybody wants peace. And everybody wants to rebuild their lives. We are going to meet later on in the evening to discuss uh, our observations. We have not got a chance to interact with each other, the two groups. And tomorrow, as you know, uh, we will be meeting the Honorable Governor uh, with a memorandum. We have come here to understand what their expectations are. And we will take that and reflect that in the Parliament People living in camps are also suffering. Uh, it's just not only that they're, uh, they've had to flee their homes and they're, they had to walk and they're living in these uh, makeshift uh, shelters. Uh, the condition in which they're forced to live in these camps are also appalling. So I, I, you can really see that the government is not reaching out to them, does not care about them. and. Uh, it is just not the state government, it is also the union government which doesn't care. We are here to show the people that uh, we care, to listen to them, but uh, where is the union government, where is the state government, To uh, where, what is it doing, why doesn't it reach out and talk to these people and find out what they want to resolve the issue. BJP says, oh, photo off. BJP say, look, they disrupt, they, they, there is disruption in parliament. That BJP will say, oh look, they don't want to debate it. But I hope that the people of Manipur understand that the India, the alliance of parties uh, under the banner of India stand with you. And we will fight till the last year of the session to make the Prime Minister accountable to the state of Manipur. My colleague Tejri, who has been relentlessly covering the Manipur violence since weeks, Track the opposition MP's visit to camps in Imphal. She explains more. The opposition delegation has come to visit a relief camp in Akampat, which is in Imphal. And here they are meeting the people who have come from Churachanpur and uh, Moirang district and here they are also listening to their problems and how the violence occurred. All the MPs, in fact, this is the Team B that is uh, headed by Gaurav Gogoi and here they are listening all the families, victims, and in fact, the, uh, they are also visiting the places there where they stay. And the major demand of the people who are staying over here is this only, that they should get a new house and peace should prevail in the state because their sufferings cannot be put in words. And now these MPs will be meeting the governor tomorrow and they will be submitting their analysis or we can see the analytical report that they will be summing up today, uh, late evening.